Hello, this is Gio, and this is my 1980 Gottlieb 007, James Bond 007 pinball machine. And I want to show you something extremely rare. Now I come here, the, the back is open, you can see all, all the uh, circuit boards here, and this is the MPU board. And now this is a 33 year old game. And if I could just zoom in while holding the camera and the light at the same time, this little device right here is the data century battery. It basically stores uh, the memory of the game and the, old, the scores as well as credit uh, units. And it is extremely rare. This is a 30 plus year old pinball and this has not started leaking and corroding the board. This is almost unheard of these days. Well, I don't want to take another chance. I'm going to remove this today and I'll show you how. Okay, after careful soldering or desoldering, I did remove the old battery. But I want to show you something. Let me zoom in a little bit. And look at what we have here. So, this is the negative terminal. And this is the positive terminal. And look, it does have a little bit of corrosion. So after 33 years, it actually did. Let's see, which is the positive? This is the positive terminal and it did actually corrode a little bit so I actually saved this board a little bit tiny corrosion not much to worry about but given another six months a year this whole board could have could have been ruined so it's a good thing I removed that battery okay so going from the old 33 year old battery to the new a memory capacitor and so this is a one ferret 5.5 uh, volt memory capacitor, super capacitor, ultra capacitor, a bunch of names but I went ahead and soldered a red wire to the positive terminal and black to the negative terminal and you could tell the negative because it has this band with negative symbols on it and I'll go ahead and just kind of um, heat glue the back of this Oops, let's turn it the right direction and then just solder on the negative terminal to this positive to that and see if it works out Okay, so negative to negative, positive to positive, nicely glued in, soldered in the back, and we'll go ahead and put her back in, see if she runs. Okay, so I went ahead and put back the board, put the back glass back in, it's all ready, plugged in and primed to go. Let's see if it'll actually start without exploding. Starting, ah, zeros. Oh, geez, it remembers the old score. I took out the battery, replaced it with capacitor, memory capacitor, and it still it didn't zero everything out. I'm, I'm pretty amazed by that. How many credits do I have? I have six. Pretty cool. Let's just start a game. There we go. Let's just pull the lever back. And the ball just sink down. All right, so 6,520. Let's just increase the credits a few times. So, six, seven, eight. Okay, and let's go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on. All right, and we'll turn it on. Hopefully it'll remember. That's on, there we go, zeros. 640,000, that's the high score again, perfect, and we're eight credits, hey, so it's it's remembering really well. I'm kind of surprised that it did remember the old score, but oh well, that's nice. So there you go, memory capacitors, get rid of those old old uh, century whatever batteries, those things are going to corrode your board. So I'll see you next time, bye-bye.